First things that first about installing row covers is you have to decide if you want a row cover or an insect netting because they are not the same thing. Uh, insect netting, they have different size holes that are available. So depending on which bug specifically you are trying to prevent, uh, you can buy a bigger or a smaller hole uh, that is to size to prevent some more specific bugs. There's like a list of bugs that that net is good for. So you can check that out with the different suppliers. And then the row cover, it's more general, but you can actually get row covers that are insulated that are gonna actually give you a bit of heat. So in the early spring or in the late fall, you can use these row covers that have a bit of insulation to them, a bit of an R value, and that can help you to do things a little bit out of season to extend your season. So you can plant seed a little bit earlier or you could extend your season a little bit later and have stuff planted and seeded later in the season that you could harvest later. Now that you've decided if you want insect netting or row cover, the next thing to do is to determine the size of your bed and the size of the arch because they sell different widths of row covers. So you also have to decide how wide you want your row cover to be. We were finding that the size that we had last year, we had trouble to get it over the arches. So we went for a larger size of row cover this year. As you can see, this one is already done behind us. So what we do is that we either pin it on a machine to hold the roll or we have two people hold the roll on either side and then the other person walks out holding the loose end of the fabric all the way to the end. Then at the end of the roll we cut and we place the rock bags. So we have three rock bags at the front and the back of the row cover and then every second arch we put a rock bag on either side. And then what we've also done is between each arch where we've skipped, so it's like rock bag, empty arch, rock bag, on the empty arch we'll put one shovel of dirt. And the reason that we don't do all of it with dirt anymore is because the plants start to grow on the side of the row cover. So you'll have weeds growing on the soil on the side of the row cover, and then it's hard to save the row cover to reuse it. So by having very little soil on the row cover, we avoid having weeds growing on the side of it. And that way we're able to use it at least a second time usually. Last thing about row covers that's very important is that the front end and the back end is usually where the bugs get in. So you want to make sure it's extra sealed. So on top of the three bags, we also put a little bit of extra soil just at the front end and the back end because that's where I find that the bugs tend to get in.